Sharp razor wire and border patrol cars are all we see at this port of entry closed up for the night. Earlier tonight, city leaders passed a resolution condemning the wire and calling it a use of lethal force. Nearby, Eloy Villa is walking home from work as a waiter. How long have you lived here? Um, all my life. So what do you think of the razor wire along the fence? Uh, it's terrible. Eloy tells us he doesn't think the razor wire does much as a deterrent. No hace nada, de todas maneras la, la misma mafia los corta. So you think that it's exactly the same? Sí, de exacto. Are you worried about the kids who might play in the area? ¿Usted está preocupado de los niños allá? Un poco, sí, sí un poco. But the mayor of Nogales says he's more than a little worried about the people who frequent this area. We respond to calls at the border. We respond to people falling off the fence on this side for broken legs, broken limbs. And we responded to, to even pregnancies. So we, we are the agency that responds to the border. I would not like to respond to a, a, an issue with the concertina wire because it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be something good. Eloy says his bigger worry is the large groups of people from Central America making their way through Mexico to the U.S. You think the people coming in the caravan are dangerous? Yeah, ¿Usted piensa yeah. que la gente en la caravan están peligrosos? Sí, son peligrosos. Yo pienso que sí. He says he understands many are looking for a better life, but is concerned that some are criminals who will do harm. After our questions, Eloy naturally has a more pressing worry, getting home with his leftovers. Uh, it's tiramisu. It's something like that. Pero qué usted tiene tanto Why do you have so much? It's because I bring it for my family. <laughs> Reporting from the U.S.-Mexico border, Lindsay Riser for Arizona's Family.